What's going on everybody? This is Scott, also known as Chiching King. And today, I got a message from a buyer that said their item was not received. And what I thought I'd do in this video is tell you how I handle that, depending upon what the facts of that particular case are. So let's go ahead and dive in and let me show you on the computer exactly what I did. And during this video, I'm going to give you a script for things that you can take and adjust to say what you need to say, depending upon what the actual facts of your case are. Because there are several things that can happen. A buyer can claim that didn't get it and it shows as delivered, or a buyer can claim that they didn't get it and it will not show as delivered. And your response to those is going to be in some ways the same and in other ways it'll be a little bit different. So what I want to do here is show you what this case was, show you exactly what I said, and let me tell you what I would do differently if this came out a little bit differently. So like all of my videos, I'm going to start from the seller hub and there are several ways to access a case. If a case is opened against you, you're going to get a message. It's going to show up in your taskbar. It'll be on your orders. But if I look at my messages, it'll show that the buyer opened an item not received case. And I can click resolve the request right here. Or I can also move on and go into it another way. So what I want to do is, first of all, I want to look at the item that didn't get delivered. I'd like to know exactly what it is that I'm looking at. In this one, it was a free people skirt that I, show, that, that I sold. And one of the things that you can do from the screen where the item is, is you can look at the order details. The big thing that you're going to want to do is to take a look at the tracking number. eBay has changed this up recently, so let me show you the new screen. So I can go in to see all orders here, and I can search by, in this case, free for free people, and it will bring up the specific item with the tracking number, and I'm going to copy that tracking number, even though today I don't think you'll need to. I think the way eBay has it set up is better than the way it used to be. But let's go ahead and copy this. Uh, for one, you'll know how to copy your tracking number. But we're going to go back to the seller hub, and now you're going to notice in my tasks, you're going to see respond to items not received case. So we're going to open that, and this screen is new. And there are different areas that you can address depending upon what the action is. On this one, we are going to look at manager buyer's requests and disputes. And so that'll be on the right hand side. So let's click on that right there. And from there, it brings up the requests and disputes and I can see the details. It shows what they're requesting. But let's open this up because the details on this one are very important. The first thing I want to do is update tracking. So when I open this, here's what's changed. I didn't need to copy and paste the tracking number. It is already included. And once it's delivered, that number cannot be changed. So on that end, all I need to do is save and continue. And pretty much I'm done with this request because it was already delivered. But this is an interesting one. So I also want to send the buyer a message and talk a little bit about it. But before we do that, let's take a look at the history of this specific one. So one of the things that you can do when you've copied the tracking number, I can go to USPS and see what the tracking shows. And it shows that it was delivered, but I'm going to look at the details of this. And when I open the details, it's going to give me much more information. And normally, when you look at the details, uh, it's the latest update. But look at this update. It shows it was picked up at the postal facility, at the post office. So I'm going to look at all the tracking history. This is a really unusual one. Usually it'll show delivered at the home address. But when I click on it, picked up at 
post office. An individual picked this up at the post office. So that is directly going to impact how I respond to this. Now keep in mind, most of the time, these aren't scams. Yes, it is a scam that people will run and just say they didn't get it. But one like this, people don't normally run a scam and pick it up at the post office. That would be a very unusual scam that would leave them open to postal fraud. So this is probably legitimate. And so it will impact how I respond to this. After I've typed in my response, and it took me a while to word it because this was really unusual that it was picked up at the post office. Now, keep in mind, I wasn't required to submit anything to the specific buyer as far as a message, but I wanted to. And once I've done that, now I've updated the tracking and I've sent the buyer a message. This isn't something I would refund because it's completely beyond my control. But I want to show the history and when I click see more, you will be able to see, let me click see more up here. You will be able to see my entire message. And my message is pretty clear is that, hey, I'm sorry that it didn't get there. The good news is it was picked up at the post office and they're going to have a, a camera there. They're going to have somebody that's going to be able to look back and see who picked up this package. If it was stolen, they stole it from a post office, which would be the height of stupidity. Most likely, somebody picked it up for him and forgot and or didn't get it to him in time before he messaged me. And so my expectation on this one is that the buyer is going to send me a note and said that it turned up. I also want to include at the bottom of my description, I will include some other standard responses that I use for these, even when it shows that it wasn't delivered or it was delivered to their house. And I want you to be able to, you take those, you can copy them and, and change them up to suit whatever you need. But the reality of it is, is if a buyer turns to you and says, hey, this item shows as delivered, but I didn't get it, eBay is going to cover you as long as you follow the steps. Get back online, update that tracking if you need to, and or at the very least, submit it that it's been done and get that resolved. Because once that's been delivered, you're no longer responsible for it. You do have responsibility for it to be delivered. Even after you've shipped it, it has to get there. So it is not impossible that you will ship something and it disappears. The way that I handle that, I my customer is never at fault until that package has been delivered. So if something happens and, and they reach out to me and it's way past the allotted time that they have for a package to have arrived, I'm going to refund them and then I will take it up with the post office. That doesn't happen very much. For all the complaints about the post office for us, they've been tremendous. This isn't something that needs to keep you up at night. You just need to know how to handle it. So very simple, very easy to take care of. That's it for this video. I appreciate you watching. I'm going to see you real soon on the next one. Bye.